Now it's time to start working in our typography. So first we'll configure our typography. To configure our typography, I'll be just hover over the appearance and click on editor. I always open new tab and close unnecessary tab every single time, which is to keep my computer um, just a smooth uh, user experience and do not crash it. So I hope you understand. Now I just uh, it landed into the editor area. Click continue. And before uh, start adding font, I have to understand which font they are using here. So I hope you all have this design. Now I will share with you all the resource file and everything um, inside the resource folder. So first of all, I'm going to check this body font here, which is Archibo uh, or Archibo, Archibo basically, it's called Archibo. Archibo regular and the font size is 20 pixel. Let's check all the font size here, which is all of them are 20 pixel and regular fit. And the heading font, which is also Archibo and it's bold. And let's check other fonts Archibo medium, Archibo bold, and regular. So there are uh, three versions here bold regular and that's it okay perfect so uh, you can take a look at here uh, when i select font you can see it changes the font size and everything based on this selected area regular and archibo so all of them are archibo let's take a look at here so i'm inside the editor just click over here called styles and click next you can view the styles guide i'm going to close this one as of now click typography and click over here so currently there is only one font called enter i'm not going to use this font if i click over here i can see uh, this is available all the variants but now what i'm going to do i'm going to install in other fonts so click on install if uh, you have to use any custom font you can use upload or I do not want to use custom font i'm gonna install font from google fonts let's verify first whether the archibo is available inside google fonts is that a google font yes that's a google font right now i'm just simply uh, click over here i can allow access to google fonts and type here archibo okay this one let's select um, bold uh, go back again and just um, double check our Ar archivo bold regular medium so let's select here the regular font size which is a uh, 400 which is always the 400 means regular and the medium means so here you can see the medium which is 500 and this is the bold and 400 is always regular or normal and 500 is medium and 700 is bold so it's medium and regular that's it now simply click install So we have installed the font here. Now it's time to select our font size and variant based on specific place. But I'll go through a specific place later on. First, try to add a font as much as you uh, can using the style uh, its styles area, which is a global styles area because you do not have to do it manually every single time for from every single place and that's why it's a good practice to use the styles area from this tab so let me go back again you just landed inside the editor click over here click on typography 
and now we have added our Kibo font click on text and the text font which is the body font is currently set to enter I'm going to select Archibo and the size which is medium but uh, in our design it's 20 pixel and also check the line height which is 34 pixel and double check uh, everywhere and we'll be choosing the or selecting the most used line height which is 30 pixel here everywhere they are using 30 pixel uh, here again they are using 28 so I would say the average size is 30 let's add 30 pixel here the line height okay so you cannot add the pixel here so the value they have added em you can always check or uh, calculate uh, 30 pix to em Thirty, one point eight. It's uh, EM. Okay, so it's one point eight or uh, one point nine would be perfect. Let's go back to our editor. By default, it's one point five. I'd say one point eight. Let's skip one point eight. As per the design, and the appearance, which is regular, because the body font is regular. Now when I select the body font, it will apply links, headings, everywhere. But for the headings, if I take a look at here, the headings they are using bold. And if you just take a look carefully, there are several heading type. The first one, I will define H1 and this one H2, 64 pixel and this one is also H2. and h3 this one also this one is h3 they, they didn't define uh, which is which one is the h1 or which one is the h2 or h3 but you have to choose them you have to define them and this one is also h3 so let's say this type of or text i'll be using as h4 which is 16 pixel and this okay there's another thing just take a look at here if the 34 pixel age is 3 then here you can see 30 pixel which should be age 4 and this should be age 5 which is 24 pixel so i hope you understand how to uh, define the fonts so let's go back to the editor and add our fonts here the first one is we just uh, confirm uh, 83 pixel h1 so select h1 okay before selecting h1 let's change the font again to archivo and it should be bold and i think not all of them are bold here bold so this is medium let's keep it medium and we will uh, change it uh, based on the fonts let's keep it default select h1 and change the font family you do not have to change it every single time because i have already added the font here now let's click h1 and just change the font size to go back again 83 pixel 83 pixel so big right and the line height which is okay the font size is 70 pixel and line height is 83 pixel let's type here 83 5.1 uh, i will keep it default i do not I want to change the line height let's only change the font here 70 pixel font size and I will keep the line height 1.5 by default as of now. If I face any issue or any unwanted situation, if I noticed, then I will change it from here. H2, scroll down, 64 pixel. I'm sorry, uh, 56 pixel. And 
and this should be bold also the h1 should be bold and h3 h3 this one which is 24 uh, previously i just defined 34 it should be 24 because the, this one is the line height not the font size so let's calculate here this font size is a little bit bigger so this should be h3 and this should be h4 24 pixel so 30 and h4 24 pixel let's go back again 24 and the bigger one is 30 here and the smaller this one 16 pixel let's make it 16 pixel and 16 pixel so one thing if you noticed here the h4 is medium size and h5 is medium but h4 is okay so h4 is also um sorry it's h3 which is also medium only h2 is bold and h1 is selected as bold so let's select h3 and make it medium and all of them are medium here so we have done our typography i hope you understand how to adjust them and how i um, adjust all the typography let's click save changes and visit our website you can double check them whether if you have added them correctly or not i'm using a chrome extension called what font if i click over here i can hover over the text and you can see it's displaying archivo font so that means i have added the font successfully in our next part i'll be adding color so this is very important to understand the global typography and color that's why i'm taking so much time to explain each and every part do not skip any of the part of any of the video from in this playlist